Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel and to your daily devotion. What do I want to share with us this morning? Well, it's found in 2 Timothy chapter 3 downwards to about uh, verse 5. And listen what it says here. It says, but know this that in the last days perilous times will come. Men sh will be lovers of themselves. They will be lovers of money. They will be boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure, rather than lovers of God. Verse 5 says, Having a form of godliness, but denying its power, and from such people turn away. Now, the point, the point I want to focus on, this part that says blasphemers, there's a guy that I talk to from time to time. We have been talking about the existence of God, the truthfulness of the Bible, the truthfulness of the, the, uh, this Jesus being here as the Son of God. And it has been a battle for over four years now. Now, we have been back and forth in our discussion about things relating to the subject, religion, and all, as I, I, what I've told you before. And this was what shocked me the other day and just led me to hang up the phone. This guy was saying that God stole a man's wife when he chose Mary to conceive Jesus Christ. Because in his estimation, why did he choose Mary? Why didn't he choose maybe a single girl? But he chose a girl that was betrothed. I think that means engaged. And then he went on to say another day when I was speaking with him that how come God doesn't have a wife? If he has a son, he must have a wife. But instead he have a ghost as his wife. You know? And I'm saying, dude, you're, you're getting out of hand. You're getting out of hand. I think that we all should have limitations when it comes to what we say we don't just get up and say anything about um or anything that comes to our mouth about even our boss we don't just speak badly against our wives or our family or whatever so why do you think it's okay to say those things about god where is your fear of god there's no fear of god in people's heart these days and it's disturbing and that was what led me to this scriptural passage to know that there are people who have become so blasphemous in their behavior i'm not saying we can't question this the, the bible or we can't question religion or we can't question god because we're thinking people yes there are some things in the bible that seems rather you know, questionable, and, and that's fine, but is there a limit to what we can 
ask and what the things that come out of our mouth and I think there should be so you know I just said to this guy you know I think that uh, I don't want to continue this kind of conversation I had to hang up the phone uh, it's the first I've had to do that but I just believe there are some things that we will never understand but we got to just accept things by faith and I said to him whether you want to believe in faith or not faith is real and a lot of the things that we do we do based on faith yes we do based on faith if we take a plane it's faith if we walk um, walk out of our house to go take the bus to reach the work it's faith that we will reach there it's believing that we're gonna reach there it's believing that the plane will land so while it's it's okay to think and to question but I think there's a limit to what should proceed out of our mouth when it comes to spiritual things but he didn't think so he think that anything that comes to his mouth he can just blare it out and I beg to differ I still think as human beings we have to respect God maintain that respect for him question all you can question yes but you've got to have know that there is a line that you don't cross and the Bible warns us that every sin that you commit no matter what it is murder adultery uh, stealing covetous you name it every sin Sabbath breaking every sin that a man commit Jesus says can be forgiven every sin except speaking against the Holy Spirit he says it will not be forgiven this life nor the life to come so we can reach to the point of no return where God would not even answer his, our prayer if we speak against the work of the Holy Spirit even a word against the Holy Spirit God words warn us we have to be careful but some people still don't care this guy still don't care so my friend let me conclude by saying we are in the last days because I've never seen or heard stuff like this before and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse perilous times are here the signs of the last days are here the things that God's Word says that would happen are here and I, I remember last night saying to a friend of mine we've been saying oh this is going on for centuries everybody believe in their day that the Lord would come maybe my father my father father my father 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 believe that the Lord would come in his day and it's true we've been hearing about the coming for centuries and he has not come even the disciples thought that Jesus would have come in his days that's why they asked what will be the sign of your coming because they swear that they would have lived to see his coming and they're dead and gone but I say to him we can't judge the world based on what happened centuries ago we judge the world based on from your birth right to where you are today because we don't live for centuries we live like a hundred years 80 years 70 years so we have to judge life based on that based on your situation because we're not here forever we're not permanent here we're temporary beings the greatest people that we know of all died and gone but one day, the Bible says, he that shall come will come and will not tarry. So whether, and you know, let me conclude by saying, there are two things that stare every human in the face. There's death and there is the second coming. One of them, one of them will happen in our lifetime. <laughs> For it is appointed unto us once to die. After that, the judgment. So, friends, let us keep, let us keep 
our focus because as I said before he that shall come will come one day thank you very much for joining me hope I didn't uh, I hope that it was fruitful and it was a blessing to you remember to smash the like button below remember to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed and remember there's a little bell beside the like button just go ahead click it and click all so that you will be notified thank you very much god bless and have a wonderful day